I know that I must do what's right Sure as Kilimanjaro rises like Olympus above the Serengeti Hello, how are we doing? This is Nick and Ned's crazy travels around crazy Africa. Crazy travels around Africa. With Gary, featuring. Yeah, a little bit. Cool. We'll come Actually, into the story a little bit later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is the story of the trip? Where did we start? We started, let's see, 1st of January, New Year's Day, 2018. Landed in Istanbul. A few hours, great stopover, check the city out. And this time, there wasn't a military coup. Uh, and then, yeah, what do we do? We got the flight straight on to South Africa, where after lots of humming and throwing, we got a car at the airport. Oh, yeah. And went to meet Linda. Linda was amazing. We love Linda. We love Linda's mum. We love Linda's dad. We love Linda's fiance, Warren G. Um, stayed with their amazing, beautiful place, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Lovely. And they were very, very kind to us. Very generous. Um, what's next, Eddie? Well, then we got, then we met her friend uh, Jared, who's a bit of a legend, and he oh, took us Jared. out. He took us uh, up this really beautiful place uh, called Northcliffe, which we've got a great drone shot of. Uh, then we went out for dinner, got some face painting done, African style, classic, blending had some, in. Had some very local cuisine, uh, and then we decided to hit a bar for a brandy and coke, which is what they drink there. Um, so Nick gets his card out, goes to the cash machine, puts it in, does all the stuff. And you know that one moment between putting the card in, doing the stuff, and then taking your card out, but before your cash has come out, well, there was a massive power cut on the whole road. Because this is Africa. Literally, <laughs> literally in that one second gap, which meant that we didn't get any of the money. So that was a bit of a nightmare. Did you think it charged? Did you, did you yeah, yeah it, it, it would have charged because... So uh, probably the next fun thing is we decided to take a road trip to uh, the River Canyons near Kruger. Yep. Lides River Canyons. On the way there, we lo oh yeah, we had to pay a bribe. That was um, an experience because I didn't indicate apparently. Um, yeah, yeah, apparently. Uh, <laughs> and so we, yeah, we were a bit panicked actually, but we got through it. Got we through. should have got a selfie with the guy, but yeah. <laughs> missed that opportunity. Yeah, we did manage to bargain him down though from a uh, thousand rand to like three fifty or something. So. Yeah, it was a big, big discount. discount. <laughs> big discount. And then um, we got a bit lost in the Blyder River Canyon because neither of us had data and uh, we were like using this like map from a 50 year old book and so we got an app as well and it led us right into the middle of the forest where we got another brilliant drone shot of us trying to find our way out of the forest on this really, really dodgy road with like me, me driving the drone and Ned driving the car Great drone shot. But it, it was quite a cool one that one, yeah yeah you'll see it, it was now to get <laughs> and, um, if we do the cutting in the thing yeah which we, which we will, which we will and um, yeah so what else happened? what are we up to Neddy? we're cycling around Soweto with our buddy Tuli to me. Yeah. To me. <laughs> You've said his name wrong like seven times. Uh, had to drive yeah, the wrong yeah, way yeah. out of a petrol station down down a motorway. Pretty flare. That was pretty flare. Luckily we got home, all safe. Flew to Arusha. No, yeah. Oh yeah. The <laughs> reason we were here right. was to play a wedding in South Africa, and oh, we just man. forgotten that whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was awesome though. It was lovely people. Jess and Marco. Mwah. Yep. And then the next morning they had a wedding breakfast at 8.30 in the morning and Nick wanted to sleep in, I wanted to go to the breakfast, so I ran about six kilometers in the blazing heat on four hours sleep, hung over with a breakfast. Well. Woo! Uh, and it was worth it for the amazing breakfast. Yeah, and yeah. People. Um, and yeah, so that is pretty much Africa. We then, and then so fin Africa. the final thing we did was to beat the South Africans, the Cox family, in a game of uh, England versus South Africa. Pool. Cool. This is Nick possibly actually going to win us the test match. Nick, I don't have much memory on my phone. Can you hurry up? <laughs> Alright, okay. Yes! Oh! Yes, the second one. Did you get the walk off? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, and I also got you asking and, if I got the walk off. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it does. And then uh, flew to Kilimanjaro Airport. Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. We stayed at Daniel's Airbnb. Very nice, we recommend as well. In Arusha with his mum. And they cooked us some nice food. We Thanks played some Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Yeah. Lots of Bob Marley on this whole trip. <laughs> they love it here. We love it. Oh, we've got another guitar! 
Let's yeah, yeah we, uh, we, we went no on safari. We went on safari where, who are the characters on safari? So it's number one, Moses. Oh, Moses. So Moses was the guy driving us around, finding the animals, and generally being a legend. Yeah. Uh, there was two girls from Aussie who just uh, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, yeah, Danica and, were and Alicia. They were um, hilarious. They we were great them, value. And we taught them about sausage. Oh, sausage. Yeah, we won't um, teach then, you about sausage, but yeah. sausage. And then there were these two guys from Austria who were uh, like diving. Oh! oh! Sausage, they're actually German. Um, anyway, <laughs> shocking. Um, great, great group. Saw cheetahs, leopards, baby yeah. cheetah, uh, obviously lions, zebras, everything basically. Even some rhinos, which are very rare. Stop cutting off their horns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we saw a rhino from a long way away. Should we go down there? Let's go to the sea. Go to the sea. Bless the rains down in Africa. Gonna take some time to do the things we never had. All right, so then we stayed with Moses from who's the driver for us, Fari. Absolutely amazing guy, He's, wonderful. He basically invited us home uh, to have dinner with his family. Uh, he had, had his little brother, Ivan, who was like five years old. Yeah, grumpy, grumpy at first, but, but he warmed to us. He oh, did. Yeah, he, he, did the he classic, was like crying when- He did the classic you know. thing that kids do, where he started off ignoring us, got really grumpy because we were talking over the TV, then started trying to show me the games on his phone, <laughs> then Nick taught him how to play the guitar, and by the time we left, he was like in tears because we oh, were like leaving, which was very really sweet, grumpy guy. Oh, Moses' dad, another massive, Ooh. massive oh. legend. Cassie. Wow. <laughs> 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 they took a nine, no, 30, it was meant to be nine hours, this is about 12 hours coach yeah, yeah, yeah. to Dar es Salaam, where in the lobby of the hotel, we randomly found, we met these guys. Who we don't know they're about to be in the video. Oh hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Cool. We're so, now. we're in a <laughs> um, So next part of the story is... We uh, left the Mancunians to go out for a night in town That's to me. celebrate <laughs> celebrate Revolution Day in Dar es Salaam. Yeah. Uh, went to a really cool bar. Um, I think they have a different version of Happy Birthday, which we had, which was very complicated. Oh yeah, true. Uh, we met Rama, who uh, is a mutual friend of mine, and now a very good friend of ours. And what else was there? Uh, we spent another day in Dar es Salaam, went to a beach, played some football with some kids on the beach, uh, did another amazing beach drone shot. Met an ex-football player. Met an ex-football player who used to play in the third league in Germany, which is yeah, actually yeah. very impressive. Um, yeah, and then uh, went to Slipway where we hooked up with Warren G, oh. Linda's aforementioned fiance. Yeah, 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 Warren's great. And we had quite a big crowd, didn't we? Because we had Rama's friend Hannah from the program. Yep. And yeah. Nick, uh, Nick, was like, Nick did like a set with the band. Oh. Some great footage from that. And then smoked some cigars. Waterfront restaurant. Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam Radio, coming to you in local cinemas. <laughs> <laughs> This is Nick playing a uh, tuning the guitar by Nick Goodwin. <laughs> the crowd wants its man in the mirror, but instead they're getting another song. This is Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. <laughs> Laughing because you he knows know. fundamentally the what truth, which is that I have a sacred. I don't fucking, know neither either of you. Man. I have a very deep relationship with music, which is that if somebody says to me, "Get up on stage and sing," I will never fucking say no. 